So you're new at wholesaling, you are new to marketing to motivated sellers, and you don't know what to say when a motivated seller calls you or even answers the phone when you are cold calling. So in this short video today, we are going to talk about the simplicity of talking to motivated sellers, what you should say, and maybe what you should avoid doing and or saying. So when you are talking to a motivated seller, number one, be polite and make a friend, okay? You definitely want this person to do business with you if they are motivated. And the best way to get somebody to do business with you is to make a friend. People like to work with people they like. So first and foremost, just be nice, make a friend, and listen to them. Oftentimes, people want to be heard. So listen to them. Next, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get their full name, a phone number to reach them back at, which maybe is the same number that you called or they called. Maybe not. Oftentimes, they may have another number and they're calling from work. So get a good number to reach them back at. And I always try to get an email right out the gate. Some people won't do that. I do because I like sending every seller that I speak to a written offer via email. The reason is, is because most people don't do that. They don't send a written offer via email. And I'll send them without even viewing the house most of the time. Reason is, is I want that offer to be there. I want them to know that I am serious about buying their home. So name, phone, email, make a friend, be polite. Next, ask them why they want to sell or why they need to sell. Typically as a real estate investor and especially as a wholesaler, I'm looking for those who need to sell. It's not just that they want to sell, they need to sell, right? And as a wholesaler and a real estate investor, my service is providing them with a high level of convenience in exchange for a discount. That's it. It's all I'm doing. What does my convenience look like? It looks like buying as is. It looks like paying cash and closing quick. And it looks like them not having to do any extra work in fixing or cleaning the property, right? Oftentimes, we'll buy properties of people that have hoarder houses or just tons of stuff in there. And part of our convenience is you don't need to clean it out. You can literally walk away from this, right? And that's what we do. We love we offer them a level of convenience that is above and beyond what they're going to get elsewhere, which typically would be through a brokerage or a realtor. Now, get the name, the phone number, the email, ask why they are wanting to sell or why they need to sell. And then next, ask what type of house is it? And I and I use that that word type because it doesn't really have an exact answer. It's a little bit more broad, but what it'll do is it'll let them know that you're interested in the property, so describe it to you. And if they say, oh, it's a real piece of crap, well, you know that they're probably really, really motivated, right? Or they may come back with, it's a ranch, or it's a duplex, or it's a single family, but just listen and ask for what type, because they're often going to divulge a lot of information to you that will be very, very helpful. Next, Figure out how many bed and baths it has. That's very, very important. And figure out the square footage. And oftentimes, if they give me an address of the property um, right out the gate, I will type that into Zillow, and I'll get an understanding just from the public data on you know how big it is and maybe when it was built. And then I'll ask them, you know, when's the last time you did any updates or did any major repairs? You know, how old is the roof? How old are the windows? You know, when was the last time the kitchen was updated. And based upon if that individual that I either called or they called me is motivated enough, that's when we decide if we want to then set an appointment, send an offer, both, or maybe just add them to our follow-up. Regardless, if you have somebody on the phone, you either you have either invested time into calling that individual or you invested money into getting your marketing message out so they can call you. Either way, time or money was invested if you are on the phone. So make the most of it. Make a friend, get the information that you need about the property, and try to determine their level of motivation by asking about the property or asking why they may want and or need, my favorite word, to sell their property. 
Lastly, um, figure out if this is worth your time to view it. And if it is, set an appointment, okay? Go view it. If it's not worth your time, or maybe they give you an asking price that doesn't seem reasonable, what I do and my partners do is we will literally pull up a Zestimate, which I get it, guys. That's not a great way to uh, determine value of a property. But it is a good way to determine the median value of the properties in the area. And what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll cut it in half. We'll take this estimate and we'll times it by 0.5 and be 0.6. We're in the very nicest of nicest neighborhoods, 0.65, even 0.7. Because again, we're not subtracting out repairs. We're just to de- going to determine what an offer would look like. And then what we'll do is we'll make them a offer range. So instead of just saying, I can pay you 60000 for your property, I may say, well, I'm typically buying houses in this neighborhood or in this part of town in similar condition to what you have, ma'am or sir. Uh, for you know, fifty to sixty-five thousand. Am I in the ballpark? Are you willing to accept a number in that range? And if you are, great. I'm going to set an appointment and I'm going to come meet you and I'm going to bring a contract. And if they aren't, then we can kind of know that hey, the level of motivation with this individual seller isn't there, meaning they're not really willing to trade us a discount. So why would we want to go out of our way to provide a crazy amount of convenience to this individual? We don't. We demand a discount if we are going to provide the level of convenience that we are accustomed to doing. So we're trading discounts for convenience, and that's really it. So when you are out and you are talking to these individuals, make it clear to them that you are an investor and you don't pay retail, but make sure you make a friend, ask lots of questions and listen, right? When I hop on the phone with the seller, it is super rare that that call will be two or three minutes. It's typically 10 to 20 minutes because I want to learn about them. I want to learn about the house and I want to listen. Oftentimes when you start listening and you don't interrupt and you let them talk, they're going to divulge all the information that you're going to want. Maybe even what they paid for it, how much they owe on the property, why they need to sell it because somebody's going to jail or they're getting divorced or they're moving out of state for a job. Typically, they're going to tell you these things. And all of these details are going to help you get that property under contract if it's today or maybe down the road with your follow-up efforts. So guys, don't complicate it when you're talking to sellers. Just be yourself. I am not a big proponent of Uh, call scripts or scripts at all because it takes me away from me being myself and maybe asking a question that's off topic but helps build rapport. So the main things, guys, get their name, get their contact information, get the property address, try to figure out their why. Why are they selling? And if you can't figure that out, ask the when. When do they need to sell? Next, just be polite, make a friend, and try to provide them a high level of convenience while you demand a discount in return. And that's it. That's how you talk to sellers. Don't overcomplicate it. This part of the business is actually one of the simplest parts, and it's the most fun in my opinion. You know, marketing for sellers can be difficult, right? But once you get that seller on the phone and they are motivated, just be yourself, make a friend. And I promise you, you will have success talking to sellers and eventually, or hopefully sooner than later, getting those deals. Keep it simple, make a friend, and be polite. That's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Talking to sellers, it's simple.